Mm, that's drunk. One of my favorite sci-fi action movies ever is Robocop 2, not necessarily because it's good, I mean it has its moments, and the special effects are awesome, but the story is a sprawling mess that goes off in like five different directions at once, and a lot of the movie is just plain goofy, for better or for worse. Sadly, the Super Nintendo never got a game adaptation for Robocop 2 in particular, instead we got Robocop 3, which is a god-awful movie, and a pretty mediocre game, and Robocop vs Terminator, which is a really cool idea on paper, but it's just not that good of a game on Super Super Nintendo, it's way better on Sega Genesis. However, Robocop 2 did have an arcade game developed by Data East back at the time of the movie's release in 1990, and it's not to be confused with any other version of Robocop 2, the NES and Game Boy editions are purely run-and-gun games, while the Amiga and ZX Spectrum versions are their own things entirely as well. But yeah, the original Robocop arcade game was made by Data East, and that game is awesome, so this should be good, right? Unfortunately, just like the movie, the Robocop 2 arcade game offers a similar experience where there's both good and bad aspects of this one. The good is pretty obvious. I mean, come on, you're Robocop shooting everything that moves, you pick up all sorts of different weapons along the way, the pixel art is spot on, and you see some cool looking enemies. This one also does a pretty good job following the movie, which you can see with some of the settings here, like the drug manufacturing plant where the stuff they're making turns people into these hideous deformed mutants. Man, that's awesome. And hey, check it out, you get to fight in an arcade. Look at this, I've got an army of Andrew Dice Clays chucking arcade cabinets at me. The best thing Robocop 2 has going for it is that it switches game modes seamlessly. You start out with your typical beat-em-up style format, before you eventually move along to a gallery shooter stage like Wild Guns, dodging enemy fire while taking out bad guys. After that, you button mash until you crush a frickin' truck. Who is this guy with the beard here? Is that Joaquin de Almeida? Well, he can't be bothered to stick around for this, so he just kinda magically teleports his way out of there, and eventually you get your first boss fight against this chainsaw-wielding dude, and what is with these attacks? What, is this guy a figure skater in his time off? Later on, you eventually go back to a gallery shooter stage, and even fight from a first-person perspective, which is cool. One token gives you three lives, and you actually get a health meter here, so this game is pretty generous for an arcade game. You get one button to jump, one button to shoot left, and another to shoot right, and if you get close enough to enemies, you can deliver some melee attacks that do slightly more damage. I should also mention that this game is two-player co-op as well. Now, there's a few problems with this game. Number one is that the beat-em-up stages, particularly the boss fights, really get boring after a while. At first, I was kind of disappointed that this game is only four levels long, but geez, they really needed to throw in some more variety here, especially since every boss fight is just jump around and shoot. Like this fight here against the ED-209, you just hop around like your foot is on fire and shoot the thing. If only I could throw some stairs at it, that would do the job quicker. The worst part of this game is the final boss fight. You fight Kane, and yeah, it's pretty cool looking, but you fight him four times in a row, and he's got four different life bars, each one longer than the next. It's completely underwhelming and downright boring. It would have been nice had they worked in some of the other game modes into this marathon of a fight. For what it's worth, it is kind of cool how you chase Kane through a building all the way to the roof before bringing him all the way down to the streets, but man oh man, this fight is a slog, and I was just happy to get it over with. So yeah, Robocop 2 the arcade game isn't bad. In fact, the first three levels are pretty dang cool, and chock full of the typical arcade ridiculousness you're used to seeing in games made back then. But the final boss fight really drags things down. It's almost like the deadline to have this game done got moved up or something, so everyone was in a rush to get the game finished. If you're looking for a better Robocop arcade game, stick with the original made back in 1988. That game is a quality run and gun that offers quite a bit more challenge. Still, I will say if you're a big fan of Robocop and early 90s arcade games, you'll definitely get a kick out of Robocop 2. Alright, I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.